What I'm going to say in this video is not set in stone. I'm not predicting your future. I'm also not limiting you by um, what I'm about to say. This is all based on statistics. This is based on huge data sets. And as either Mark Twain or Benjamin Disraeli said, there are lies, damned lies and statistics. Statistics tell us an overall picture, but they don't tell us anything about you as a person. They don't tell us about your circumstances, about your determination, about how much effort you're going to put in, about what resources you have available to you. So please do not get too disappointed by what you're going to see in this video. If you've got a particular grade, um, you've got a particular grade GCC and you've got a particular grade that you want at a level and then I tell you you're not going to get it, please do not get too upset by this. On the other hand, don't get too complacent about what I say in this video, just because the data says this, that you're going to get this grade, that doesn't mean it's 100% going to happen, you still have to put the work in. So this is not fortune telling, it's not setting out your future in stone, it's not 100% going to say this is definitely what you are going to get. But if we look at huge data sets, um, and this is where, you know, um, exam boards, um, universities have looked at what students GCSE results are, and then looked at what they got and A levels, and then they've made graphs, and this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. So how you can predict what you're going to get at A level based on your GCSE results. Now there are lots of other things we need to be paying attention to in here because some of the, the GCSE subjects you might not be doing at A level, so things aren't going to be quite in front of them. And when you start in sixth form college, you might have done like some baseline testing, that's what we call it, or you might have done an ALICE test, um, which is A level information systems. And this is all based on these huge data sets. So how do students score in this particular test? Then how do they eventually go on and do in that A levels? And then they take your score, they feed it in, and the outpops this result. That is your predictive result for your A levels. So this is the most likely outcome, but it does not mean it is definitely going to happen. I've had some like grade six students join my A level class. They've been consistent C students throughout the whole way. And then right at the end, they turned it around, they smashed it, and then they've come out with A's or A stars. Well, this picture came around with an A at the end. But massive turnarounds do happen. And there are also lots of things you can do, like keeping on top of work, doing regular like retrieval practice to make sure we actually get better grades than expected. But I'm going to go through everything um, grade by grade. So if, you, if you've got a particular grade and you don't want to sit to all of them, you can just jump to the bit where I talk about the grade that you got at GCSE. So as you can see from the graph that I've put here, if you got a grade five at GCSE, now, if you got a grade five at GCSE, you probably had to fight a little bit to get onto the A-level course, because the data says the most likely grade you're gonna get is a U, followed closely by Ds and Es. Now, Ds and E at A-level are still grades, they still get U class points, they can still be used to get onto university courses. But you can see, if you've got a grade five at A-level, you're gonna find it very, very hard. If you've got a grade six at A-level, with my nice graph, which I'll put in here in the edit, you can see that you've got a pretty equal chance of getting a D or an E at A-level, then followed by a C. Now you can see that people are getting Bs, As and A-stars. It does happen. But please remember, this is just based on a massive data set and doesn't talk about you as a person. So if you've been getting grade sevens at GCSE, that is a very, very good grade. This is equivalent to like the old A grade. Um, and you're probably used to being top of the class, especially if you're in a smaller school. Now, when I show you this data, it might be a little bit disappointing because you're going to be used to being one of the cleverest in the class, getting the top grades in the class. And maybe you've done your baseline test, you've got your predicted results. Um, and maybe you see them and you're a little bit disappointed because you're used to being kind of like one of the best in the class. And now the data is coming out and telling you that actually you're more likely to get a C or a D at A level and your dreams of going to Oxford probably aren't that realistic. Now there's an equal chance of you getting like a B or an E, but you still can get those A's. There are lots and lots of things you can do for this. This is one of the reasons we developed the course where we are guaranteeing grades A and A star in biology, chemistry and maths, because we are so confident that the course we've developed can help students like you really, really get those good grades. If you've got a grade eight at GCSE, you can see grades A, B or C are pretty evenly likely. You can still reach for that A star 
And if that A-star boost is something you definitely want, then the course with the grade A, the grade A guarantee that's over my website is definitely something that will help you with this. And then if you're one of the few students that go at grade nine, then the most likely grade you're gonna get at GCSE is an A or an A star. Um, but please remember, you do still have to work for these grades. You do not get given these grades based on your GCSE results. You do still have to put a lot of work and effort in. So that is what the data, the statistics say, guys. Please remember, this is not about you as a person. Um, you can influence these grades, the how you behave, how you revise, how you prepare, um, what resources you use, whether you just use the free videos, whether you sign up for the full masterclasses, textbooks, tutors, all of this can really, really heavily influence your grade. So don't look at this and just get really, really upset that this is definitely the grade that I'm going to be getting because it's not. There are lots of opportunities for you to get other grades as well. Um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.